Whoa. Hi friends, welcome to Bird Dogs of Field TV. In this episode, we're visiting my longtime friend, Sarah Cunningham at Centerville Kennel and Farm in Hope Valley, Rhode Island. Sarah is a very well-known uh, handler, bird dog trainer, field trial judge. She's done this for many, many years and she's very good at it. And so today she's going to show us how she teaches Honoring Point. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Sarah Cunningham and this is Sonny. He's an eight-year-old Brittany male and uh, we're going to demonstrate backing, which is a um, one dog's on point, the other dog comes in and simply sees that dog on point and points that dog, therefore not interfering with the find. It's considered good manners, good hunting, and good training. So let's get Sonny out in the field and doing his job. Come on, son. Bird Dogs Field, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, providing performance diets for the canine athlete and brought to you in part by Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast. Pete Shoe Dryer, inventor of the footwear dryer, takes on the nuisance of foot odor. Thoroughgood, job fitted footwear, handcrafted in America since 1892. Visit thoroughgoodusa.com for a dealer near you. I think he is still on that. Um, the air current is coming from our left. It's all right, Sonny. Go on. You're all right. There's a good boy. Go on. Get ahead. Whoa. Whoa. And if you'll notice, Dot is here. She sees the first dog on point and is backing that dog without smelling the bird. Whoa. She's simply observing him. Whoa. Bang! Whoa. Whoa. You whoa. Whoa. And we have both dogs under control. We could have shot birds, but we're simply training and observing uh, the backing process. Now I'd like to show how I teach that process to have a good stylish back. I'm just going to put these dogs away. Good dogs. Come on. So we've seen what dogs look like when they're honoring as they should, and I'd like to talk now about uh, the way I teach and, and many people do the uh, the art of backing, because we want a stylish back, we want the dog to be happy. Uh, the, the principle is that we want the dog to believe that there is possibly a bird in the back of, a, of the dog on point. And we achieve that with a backing dummy, a pigeon trap, and pigeons. And through repeated exercise, teach the dog that a bird is going to pop out of that dog if you just stand there and point. They anticipate it, they point, they look great, and for our purposes, they're being respectful and useful in the field. And the, uh, the, the way we teach it is to bring the dog quickly into a, a visual of this 
backing dog. In our case, the backing dog will be a plywood cutout that is painted. Mine, sadly, is in need of refurbishment, but what isn't in the springtime? But it is recognizable as a pointing dog. I'll put this trap behind it. It's tucked in because we want to surprise the dog that we're training. So we'll just walk this way. Lots of people name their backing dummies. I've heard of Flatwood Hank, heard uh, a number of other things, but the backing dummy is often just the dummy, not a very flattering term. And we'll get our student, who is Tori. She is a Roan Brittany female. This is Tori. She's five years old. She has not done a lot of backing, but I would like to teach her. And there's, I don't think there's any age at which dogs can't learn anymore. She's quite energetic. She'll be a, a handful on the check cord. All right, Tori. Whoop. Tori, look. Whoa, look. Whoa, look. Whoa. You whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back here. Whoa. 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 She knows the whoa command. Whoa. Backing is considerate, considered work to be done after a dog is broke. Good girl, Tori. That was acceptable. Good girl. Get to it. You ready? Up. One, two, three, up. Good. I heard that too. Come on. I said uh, that backing was graduate level work because a dog needs to understand that he or she must stop on point and follow commands. So I teach it after a dog has learned to stand steady to wing and shot uh, on a, a find, whether it be quail or woodcock or grouse, and steady to wing and shot is the dog stands on point, you walk ahead, flush the bird, fire the gun. The dog has not moved and will not move, should not move, until it is verbally released by you or a handler. Um, we want the dogs under control. So if there are other birds out in the field, a, a running dog that's flushing uh, because it's released itself from woe, hasn't put up all the birds in the field, you don't have time to reload, the dog might be uh, in the path of a stray shot. I want that dog to stand there until I tell it to move for my safety, its safety, and uh, for, for good shooting. So after we get to that point, we introduce backing. And uh, I should also say that when we teach dogs to stand, Sometimes I need to use a lot of discipline to get them to stand and maintain that stance. When I'm teaching backing, it's all praise. I want a stylish back. So there's no electric collar, there's no strict discipline. It's repeat learning, do it again, do it again, over and over until it's a uh, stimulus response. See a dog, point it, bird comes out of its back. And then I go to the dog and say, what a good girl, what a good boy. If they don't do it, I simply repeat the exercise. The last thing I want is for a dog to come in and back another dog, but reluctantly, sadly, in a defeated way. I want a happy, stylish point. So it's very important not to use pressure, simply 
repetition, positive reinforcement, and uh, a fervent hope. <laughs> but most, most dogs get it with, with practice, some more easily than others. And, and I, uh, I'll add that some dogs are natural backers and very little practice is needed. I still like to show a dog uh, this sequence of training in order if that dog decides at some point I don't like to back or I don't need to back anymore, I can go back to our training and the dog is reminded that, that this is something that, that we're going to insist on. Uh, we have a basis of understanding instead of the dog deciding what it does and does not want to do. So that, that is backing. It's repetition. That's the key. And uh, quickness that helps a lot. Well, I hope you enjoyed that lesson from Sarah on Honoring Point. Uh, Sarah is very good at what she does. In fact, if you need any assistance with training or questions, I've uh, listed her contact information right here on the screen so you can contact Sarah. I want to thank you for watching Bird Dogs of Field TV today, and I hope to meet you in the field someday. Bird Dogs of Field, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, and brought to you in part by Mud River Dog Products, Pete Shoe Dryer, and Thoroughgood Footwear.